Hello again. You're watching today on this Tuesday afternoon on ENCA DSTV Channel 43. I'm Dan Moyani. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, thousands of lives are said to be at risk this hour. The South African National Blood Service says stocks are critically low. It has enough stock left for less than two and a half days. It's now pleading for donations of O positive blood. Donating will take you less than 30 minutes. Now, you can visit their website. That's sanbs.org.za or you can contact 0800-119-031. Those details now at the bottom of your screen as we speak. And there you will find out how you can become a blood donor. The fight to stop Shell's planned seismic survey of, of South Africa's wild coast is not yet over. About four environmental and human rights groups have now filed an application for leave to appeal a court decision which found that the action would not cause any harm to the environment. The energy company wants to search for new oil and gas deposits in that area of South Africa. Let's speak now to Proven Moodley, who is the executive director of one of the organizations, Natural Justice. Mr. Moodley, uh, good afternoon. Well, just because sometimes we can lose track of where we are at. What I recall, and please you can set me cor uh, correct here so that we can bring our viewers up to speed properly. Uh, at the beginning of December, the court ruled against an application that was seeking to stop the seismic survey being done by Shell. And the court said, no, it's all good, it's all okay, it's all legit. Is that what you are now appealing against this time around? Uh, yeah, good afternoon, Deb, and thanks for having me on your show. Uh, so that's exactly the case. And, you know, essentially Natural Justice, Greenpeace and others uh, brought an urgent application. And what we were asking for the court is to give us a court date where, you know, we could bring forward the evidence uh, that would show what Shell is uh, doing in terms of seismic surveys would cause irreparable harm, uh, you know, to the ocean ecosystem, uh, but also the fact that communities along uh, the wild coast of South Africa were not uh, properly consulted, uh, you know, and therefore uh, it was illegal, uh, you know, the issuing of the license where communities are not consulted. And in terms of the law, that uh, environmental authorization was not um, obtained, uh, you know, in the right way for for this project. So, but but the know, government, the but arguments. the government, yeah, the government maintains it's all above board. It's all legit. I even had a bite a, a, a few weeks ago of the Minister of Energy and Mineral Resources, Gwede Mantashe, saying there's no damage that's being done in that environment. Yeah, I mean, firstly to say that the minister, Gwede uh, Mantashe, isn't a scientist. Uh, he is, he's not an expert on this. And one of the points we're arguing is, is that it should be, uh, you know, environmental affairs that protects our ocean, not the minister of energy and minerals giving permission, uh, you know, to these types of projects. And in a second court case uh, that was heard on Friday, in the same court, uh, you know, expert testimony was put forward to show what harm will actually be caused, you know, based on previous uh, seismic surveys that, that have happened, but also communities that went to court last Friday really showed how, you know, the process wasn't followed, uh, what they're doing is okay. illegal, and that the minister, you know, is certainly, uh, you know, on the side uh, of Shell, not, not the people uh, of this country. So you are saying two things. There's been no consultation, uh, proper consultation with the local communities of that part of the wild coast. Secondly, the environmental affairs department is the one that really should be giving the go ahead here and not the energy department. So what are you applying for? Are you applying for a sort of an interdict here? Because my understanding is that the seismic survey has started by Shell. Uh, yeah, I think Shell were you know, quite quick on the trigger uh, to, to get it started, and that's why we applied for an urgent interdict, uh, you know, to stop it from happening. Uh, you know, the, the, in the first case, uh, the judge said there wasn't enough evidence, uh, you know, to show irreparable harm, but our whole point was to have a proper hearing in court so that we can put the evidence forward. 
but in the second case that that evidence was put forward and all the evidence from communities and their testimonies to say you know how this will impact them all of that was put forward so uh you know uh, we've therefore appealed the first the first judgment because we think the judge erred in the decision uh but also hoping you know that there's a positive outcome uh because you know we know shell will continue until uh you know obviously uh, someone stops it so so that application for that urgent interdict where is it at now what's the update or what is next in this legal process mr mudley yeah so on the case that we brought uh before the court uh, we've now appealed that and we hope a full uh bench of uh, uh judges uh, would sit and hear the appeal uh, so so that's uh, in, in terms of the original case that we brought in terms of the case that was brought on friday uh judgment uh is still being uh awaited uh the judge said you try his best to you know given the urgency of the matter try and uh, bring out the judgment as soon as possible so potentially within the next week i would imagine uh, that judgment will come out to say whether shell should stop um or continue so you said within the next what i i missed that sorry within we hope uh, within the next week uh, that within judgment the next will week. come okay yeah because in the interim shell is going on and you natural justice and your other uh, uh, partners in this will continue your protest in the meantime uh, absolutely i think you know people have been standing up uh, around the country and i think it's time that government you know also listens to to the people not just sit in the boardrooms with companies like shell yeah, I'm hoping to speak to one of them if we can get hold of him, Professor Jonathan Janssen. Uh, we saw a tweet earlier, on an editor saw a tweet by him earlier today saying that he will no longer uh, put fuel in his vehicle uh, in a shell station as a way of protest against uh, this seismic survey. Uh, uh, Mr. Mutli, before I let you go, if you are able to, I know you want your day in court where you'll present all the evidence that shows that there is harm being done by this seismic survey, despite what Shell and, of course, the Minister Gwede Mantache have had to say that there's not really much harm there that is being caused. At a very high level and very briefly, what is this damage that is being, is, would be caused, for example, to the marine life of the wild coast? Uh, yeah, no, that's that's really important. Uh, I mean, essentially, what it does is it, it changes uh, the patterns and the behaviors, uh, you know, that uh, happen naturally. So whether these are whales migrating, you know, dolphins moving that area, but also there's you know very delicate plankton and other things that would be destroyed based on the seismic survey, and we see you know see that damage if you look at. Uh, you know, the corals in Australia that are being bleached and, and dying. But also, Dan, just the last point that, uh, you know, Shell lost a case in May in the Netherlands where the court asked Shell to reduce its emissions by 45% by 2030. It just doesn't make sense that Shell is embarking on new projects when the court, they already ordered, uh, you know, that they reduce their, their, their emissions. So based on the current uh, climate uh, crisis in the world, uh, it's hard to imagine how, you know, our president is talking about renewable energy in Glasgow, but yet all of these different licenses are being given at the same time. Okay, we're going to have to wait and see in a week or so, Mr. Moodley, what the court will decide in terms of that application for an urgent interdict to stop Shell from continuing its seismic survey. Thank you very much, Poven Moodley. He's from NGO Natural Justice, talking, of course, about their urgent application in court to stop Shell's seismic survey to search for oil and gas off the wild coast. Shell, in the meantime, is carrying on, going ahead, and we are seeing protests uh, that's happening uh, in the country by organizations like Natural Justice and some prominent citizens uh, are now taking to social media like Professor Jonathan Janssen just a short while ago on Twitter saying he will no longer be buying fuel from any Shell station as a way of protesting against Shell's continued seismic survey of the wild coast.